Hey guys, my name is San Caso and I welcome you to the second episode of my Redstone ALU tutorial. In the first episode I just quickly showcased the ALU that we are going to build. And in this episode we are going to start actually building it um, by starting with the memory cells. And the memory cells we are going to use are based on a T flip-flop. And you can basically use whatever T flip flop design you like most, but I would highly suggest you to use this design. And let me quickly show you why. This is a T flip flop design by Cube Hamster. Here it is. Make sure this repeater is set to two ticks delay. And the cool thing is, as there is no redstone dust anywhere, you can stack those. T flip flops directly next to each other so you can build another T flip flop here, here, here and so on. And since I want to do 8-bit memory cells for this tutorial, you can just stack 8 of them next to each other and have bitwise manipulation as you we use T flip flop memory cells and we use this stackable design so credits to Cube Hamster for that. I already went ahead and build the memory cell, ignore all the white and black wool part for the moment. And this is basically just the input torch and instead of having the button here, I connected it with this little 8 white repeater dust bus to those buttons right here. This isn't really necessary, but since we want to build a little display region or something like that, or control region around this area here, I just thought, yeah, we might do it like that. I also went ahead and once again, ignore the white wool part. I also went ahead and added this reset line right here. So you guys can see two of the T flip flops are currently turned off and the remaining six are in the on state. And if I press this reset line, which is just a line of blocks with redstone dust above next to those second sticky pistons, all the redstone, um, all the T flip flops are turned to the on state. And of course, since we want our reset line to actually turn them into off state, I went ahead and inverted the signal. Now to the two main buses, which are the output bus, the black one right here, and the input bus, the white one right here. The black bus simply connects to those redstone torches, and the white bus does connect to inverted redstone torches under those blocks so you want to do it like that. And for this bus up here we're going to use a very simple um, bus design. We're going to use the um, pattern dust, repeater, uh, dust, block, repeater, dust, block, repeater and so on and just alternate them so you, we got those um, diagonal lines. And the reason we want to have those diagonal lines is very simple because we can just put torches on top of them, put torches above that and read out our uh, output signal. And we will of course use that for basically every arithmetic operation we're going to do with the work cell right here or with basically for basically every arithmetic operation. So this is why we use this pattern here for the output bus. And you guys can see this would just be a read for the, uh, from the input and this would actually go to the memory handler of the um, of the memory controller we are probably going to add after finishing the ALU. For the uh, input line down here we are not using a pattern involving blocks and that is simple because space is very limited down here and we also don't want to use that because we want to have those diagonal redstone lines here going on and want to be able to do this pattern right here so this is basically just a split up input line so we've got the torches right here and they just connect to those torches and basically just I keep them turned off and if I would press a button right here, well wait, that's difficult to see from there. Let's press this button and you guys can see this uh, torch flickers on and transmits the signal 
and this will ultimately uh, change the state of our yeah of our memory bit and this here is going to be the inverter and the inverter is just a very easy to build arithmetic operation we will just add um, not like that sorry choose a color of wool like for example purple for the inverter and just do it like that repeaters in front of all those torches redstone line all across and add a button or other input line right there and this will invert the signal we've got in our ALU main memory because this over here is going to be the main memory cell and you guys can see this translates to the output very well. In the next episode we are going to add the actual internal memory cells, memory cell 1 and memory cell 2 and I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the tutorial. Subscribe if you want to see the other ones and I hope you liked it. Please leave a comment, rate or subscribe and yeah see you guys next time.